Hi, my name is Adam Pascale. I'm from the Seismology Research Centre, which is an earthquake observatory uh, based in Melbourne, Australia. And we've been monitoring earthquakes uh, in our region for uh, about 45 years. And in that time, we've developed a bunch of different software tools to allow us to analyse the data, to locate earthquakes, to visualise data in real time, uh, and also check earthquake locations sent from our servers. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Waves. So Waves has been out for a number of years now and we've had a separate program to locate earthquakes, taken the algorithms out of that program and built them into Waves. So we still go through the same process in Waves of picking PNS times, but now we can click across to a, an earthquake location tab, which then places all of those waveforms on a distance spaced timeline. Uh, overlaid with uh, a PNS velocity curve based on a 1D velocity model. So you can put in different layers and different velocities. The algorithm will then try and fit all of your PNS picks to produce the best location. So if your arrivals don't fit with the solution, you can click on them to turn them on or off. You can click the name of that station, it will take you straight back across to the waveform analysis side and you'll see where the expected arrivals based on your model, want the P and the S, and, and then you can adjust your pick and then move back to the location to see what effect that has. You can also release the depth, so if you've got a close enough station, the earthquake will go to a depth that will fit better. Uh, and then you can see on the right hand side of the screen, you've got a map that visualizes where that earthquake is and shows all the S minus P circles. So the distance from the stations to the earthquake and obviously they will overlap where the earthquake occurred. So you can do this with just three arrival picks, but the more stations you have, the better obviously. If you're interested in trying out waves, you can go to the USGS website, look at the latest earthquake, click on the waveforms tab, uh, and it'll take you across to extract the data from the Wilbur 3 archive on IRIS. Just simply drag it into waves and you'll see all of those waveform channels there. Pick your PNS waves. Then click across to the location screen and you should see a solution that matches the earthquake location. So Streams is a data acquisition program that is pulling data in from various sources, whether it's directly from seismographs or from a Seedlink server. And it will display that data in real time on screen as the data arrives. And it can even analyze that incoming data based on your trigger settings to send you notifications when an event has occurred. So if you've pulled data from IRIS's Seedlink server, Streams will go and look up that station's metadata so that the data that you're seeing plotted on screen is actually in ground motion units according to the instrumentation that is at that station. So you don't need to worry about correcting the data. And Waves does a similar thing. If you pull data in from a station that is on the IRIS database, it will go and look up that station's metadata and automatically apply it to what you see on screen. Now Waves and Streams are both applications that will run on your PC. But if you're interested in having a data acquisition system that is hosted in the cloud, most of Streams functionality uh, plus more is built into our EQ Server system. So EQ Server is a cloud hosted system where all of your data flowing from your seismographs is feeding into it. Uh, it can display that data through your web browser uh, in real time. It can also do the automatic event association and it also creates a state of health maps so you can see the status of your stations. EQ Server is the heart of the system that we run our observatory around. Uh, it provides us with earthquake notifications and then allows us to check them uh, using our QuickQuake app. Now the, the QuickQuake app is for iPhone and iPad and it allows us to quickly check these notifications using our phones so we can verify that the uh, automatic location is accurate enough to send out notifications. The way that QuickQuake works is serves up that latest event and we pick one of those stations and pick a P and an S on that one station. 
that sets up a distance of that earthquake from that station. So as you move the earthquake around that circle, the distance to the other stations changes, and then once they all line up with the expected P and S travel times, that's your location, and it automatically estimates a local Richter magnitude as well. So QuickQuake is available for free in the App Store to, to download. It contains some sample data if you want to have a play around with it yourself. Uh, but to actually serve your own data with it, you'll need an EQ server. So as you can see, all the technology that we've developed is really focused around local earthquake monitoring networks, not sort of global scale, but more local regional scale. Um, the, the software that we've been talking about, Waves and Streams, is free to download from our website. Anyone can, can grab it and use it. But all you have to do is go to the src.com.au website and you'll see Waves and Streams available for download uh, and some more information about our hardware systems as well. So our software was developed to make our lives easier in running our earthquake observatory, but it can also be used as an educational tool, particularly waves and quickquake, to show the relationship between wave arrivals, P's and S's, and earthquake locations. So please feel free to download them and give us some feedback about what you think. Thanks for listening.